Hello, welcome to this review of LEGO Star Wars Set 75300 Imperial TIE Fighter. This set has 432 pieces, 3 minifigures, and is ready for ages 8 plus. This set came out in early 2021 and just retired at the end of 2023. And without further ado, let's get into the review. Starting off with the figures here, we of course have the most obvious of them all being an Imperial TIE Fighter pilot. It is, you know, you just hear classic Imperial TIE Fighter pilot, has a classic regular like angry clone face, not quite angry clone, I believe it's more of a neutral clone now. <laughs> But yeah, just a standard Imperial fighter pilot, which we get in tons of sets and looks pretty good. Has some decent prints, even some light printing down there, which is always nice to see. A little bit difficult with the lighting and it being black matching my stand. But next up, we have our classic Stormtrooper here. Uh, it has sports the newer style helmet, which I'm not quite as much of a fan of as the older style helmets because you can't turn them at all it was nice to be able to turn the helmets i'm not quite a fan of that and it does look a little bit derpy in my opinion but yeah it's still has some great printing on that helmet there and some classic stormtrooper printing as we have seen in most like recent imperial sets because this is just your standard imperial stormtrooper that we've seen for quite a while now now, last up here is the most interesting of the three figures, being NIL8 here, if you can kind of gleam the print off there a bit. It's a nice Imperial probe droid here, I believe, and it looks pretty good overall, and is definitely a unique figure, and definitely deserved to be included in this TIE Fighter, because he is a pretty neat figure, especially compared to your classic uh, Stormtrooper and uh, TIE Fighter pilot, both of which come in tons of other sets and i believe uh the nil8 here is just exclusive to this set in particular which is definitely a nice inclusion by lego but yeah without further ado let's get into the set itself the set itself here looks pretty good with a couple little issues namely the uh whatchamacallit on the top here it should be flipped backwards but in the set images the box art and the instructions themselves all picture it being facing the opposite way which is just inaccurate to the scene which is a very kind of like oversight a uh, very large oversight on the part of lego and that should have definitely been flipped around but luckily it's easy enough to solve just by flipping that printed piece uh 180 degrees like that so luckily that's like a pretty easily solved one which does make it a little bit more odd that that got kind of oversaw it there whatever the version of that word is but yeah so the interior here is pretty basic with just a couple little like handle things here for your tie fighter to use to i guess fly the ship and stuff and there's uh one basic play feature in here of course the spring-loaded shooters which you activate by just pushing down on them we've all seen what spring-loaded shooters do that is quite a you know average uh lego play function and definitely adds a good bit of playability to it because well it's a play function so yeah and the back here is not all that detailed uh just with like a couple of red dots there maybe indicating thrust or whatever but it's like it's the back of a tie fighter it doesn't need to be overly detailed same with the front of course with that massive uh, windscreen there the tie fighter screen windscreen thing which uh looks pretty good overall and that's kind of like the whole center of it is pretty well done except for that one piece on the top but yeah moving on to the like little wing things here the hexagonal wings or whatever you want to call them uh it looks pretty good it's a little bit thick maybe but there's that can't be really avoided with this design especially because you're really limited by the uh like width of the pieces themselves and to get that level of detail is a bit hard without them being a bit chunkier so i do think that that's a slight error but it looks fine overall 
in the uh, like wing like edges or whatever you want to call them themselves are well done and definitely it represents the uh, real life well not really real life but the like Star Wars models and stuff in these shows and movies quite accurately so yeah overall the thing looks pretty good and another thing that you can do with them because they're relatively inexpensive at $45 you can stack them. So we got three here that we can stack. So you can have your little TIE Fighter Towers, which are very fun. And they actually stay there quite well because there's like two uh, long places on either side because the tops and bottoms here are completely smooth and you can just stack them quite easily. So that is uh, another fun little feature, whatever thing that you can do with them, especially for like display purposes. If you want to uh, do that, you can do that. But another thing that you can do because they're relatively inexpensive is just like army build them, which is kind of what I did. We got three of them here and you can make them like fly in formation and stuff. And speaking of like random things that you can do with them for like mocks or something other than having them fly in formation is because these winglets or whatever you want to call them are separate builds. You can pop them off and really easily make it look like it's like been blown up or something and you can kind of have it flying at an angle. So those are just kind of cool things that you can do with them not really anything that you have to do with it specifically it's just kind of something that's cool that you can do to it with no real modifications to the set to make it look like it's being partially destroyed or something which is kind of a bonus for like mock creators and stuff because they can get a handful of these relatively cheaply and make them look like they're exploded without really any modifications maybe put like a couple pieces flying off or something but other than that you don't really gotta modify it much which is kind of a neat little feature and i definitely say as it is unfortunately now retired definitely pick them up if you can see them maybe you'll find them on clearance because it's it is retired so maybe some people are trying to get rid of their stock of them so maybe you can find them relatively cheap so that's definitely something you got to watch out for but yeah it's definitely a good set overall and definitely worth picking up especially picking up maybe more than one if you want to build a mock or display them all flying together like i might plan on doing at some point but yeah it's just a good set overall definitely recommend picking it up and since it is unfortunately now retired it might be a little bit more difficult to find than if it was still readily available but it's not like something crazy that's going to be impossible to find so yeah have a good one and we'll see you later bye